What it do, loopers? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Girl King. Get you some, get you some, get you some. Grand Risings and Grand AM to you, loopers. Sun, moon, rising, north, no, wherever leaper may be sprinkled in your chart, you are welcome right here. Hello to all of my new subscribers, my faithful, ever-growing few, and for those of you just freezing on through what it do. Let's talk about my meditation for just one quick second, Weepers. Within my meditation, I, see, I saw two elderly gentlemen. These gentlemen were speaking Russian. And what one of them kept repeating is babushka, which is Russian for grandmother. So that was coming up. <laughs> also, <laughs> just a side note, things that go bump in the night. <laughs> Libra, you're so not afraid of these things at this point. So anything that anyone should be sending your way, I feel is being returned to sender. So there's that. We're gonna jump into these messages and find out what may be going on in your life this time. As per usual, some or all of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moment, so please do only take the messages that are with you. It's not what rings true for you, Libra, then most likely it's not what it do. So please do leave it on the counter. Thank y'all so much for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes. And if you're already subscribed, please do just give it a check. Just a look-see. Make sure that bell is still blue as it does mysteriously and magically sometimes uncheck itself. There's a lot of mystery and magical shit going on right now. Libra, someone is performing some rituals. Libra, some very ecstatic rituals. Someone is in a state of madness, and there's been an energetic release, and I feel that is on your part. So let's see what is going on. Angels, what's popping for my leapers? What's going on? We have the sun in reverse. Look at this. Hmm. Yeah, someone's not happy about this free spirit energy that you're in, Libra. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, they see you as being on your high horse. They don't like this energy, this shining in the sun that you're doing. Mm -hmm. All of this gleaming, glowing light that is being emitted and extended from you. It's eternal. Sunflowers could be significant. Someone's name could be John. Absolutely not. <laughs> but the Page of Wands has slid out here in reverse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the imagery, Libras. The imagery, yeah, someone wants to. <clears throat> oh, I'm just, I'm just, this is so funny. First of all, <laughs> let me just show you the, the sun first in the upright. We are using the Witch's Tarot. This is our newest kid on the block here. But look at the energy that you're in. You're just minding your business. Look, look, look at the look on the young gentleman's face here. Hmm. Confirmation. Yes, yeah, someone does not like it. And I don't know why that phone is vibrating. But anyways... <laughs> You're all about the, the sunflowers and the sun and the light and just just being in your own energy, being demure, being pure, being pure hearted, almost childlike. And look at this page of wands in reverse. Now this could be a younger energy. This could be a fire sign. We do have this fire energy here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But look at this card, waving, right? <laughs> Like, hey, <laughs> hey, Libra. <laughs> now, the card is in reverse, right? So, when you look at them, too, so this person, 
And look at they're waving at you. <laughs> this by your side, trying to get your attention. Very, very childish, very immature energy that I'm getting. Very, <laughs> I wouldn't say young spirited, such as the energy I'm getting from you, Libra. This is really a, a childish energy, not childlike, childish. This potential fire sign. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're very excited about you. Mm, you are all the cat's meow, whether you are a male or a female. <laughs> yeah, they're in a very feline energy. This fire sign. So we have Leo energy here. Yeah, they're attracted to you, Libra. They almost <laughs> wear you as a pendant around their heart. I don't know if someone has a picture of you and they wear it in a locket around their chest again male or female <laughs> it's like this person is screaming to get your attention god dang this person has gone through some trials and tribulations hmm. what else we have the king of swords <laughs> yeah libra because you're just minding your business Look at that sword, Libra. Just gleaming, just shining. Some of you could be in your masculine energies, but Libra. <laughs> Sitting upon your throne. The golden child. Mm -hmm. So you have messengers around you that are bringing you information. This is why you are so able to comfortably sit upon your throne right now. <laughs> because your team is effectively giving you messages from on high. So yes, you, you are <laughs> possibly in a defensive state because there's a bit of fuckery around. What is this flying on the floor? <clears throat> So we have the Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot of Knight energy. <laughs> so Earth energy. Capricorn. Virgo Taurus. <laughs> Something having to do with the Buck Full Moon. There may be an earth sign that started this journey, this voyage t towards you during the buck full moon. So there's new growth, there's new expansion, there's new grass, there's higher grass. So this person is traveling toward you. Could be this, again, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this could be a person from your past that's gotten... <laughs> A new kind of lease on life is what I'm hearing. I don't know if this person moved or if this person is considering relocating or if this person has relocated this earth sign because there's movement here. Yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> high horse energy. I don't know why that keeps coming up. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So this Taurus, there's a Taurus here that may have children. This could be a masculine energy, a father. This father may be paying child support for one child and maybe possibly not another. What is going on here? I don't know if this Taurus is trying to escape paying child support. Hmm. We'll see. 
about that in just a second. Angel Swiddles. We have the Queen of Swords. <laughs> so we have a couple here. Mm -hmm. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. And then we have the world in reverse. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. So someone's not happy again, Libra, that you seem to be in this wild free spirit energy. There's the energy of someone who was <laughs> trying to get your attention, like screaming to get your attention as a child might scream to get their parents' attention. You know, act out. There's a very sexual energy coming from whoever this page of wands is. But here you are sitting upon your throne again, minding your business, doing you. But you're on the defense because there's some fuckery going on <laughs> outside the kingdom walls. It's like there's a mist about. And so this is what your team is bringing you messages about. <laughs> Things going on outside the perimeter, outside the kingdom, outside of your home, outside of yourself. This could have something to do with this Knight of Pentacles, this Taurus energy that maybe started moving back towards you sometime beginning around the buck full moon. Now, that was just last month. It's like this person may be trying to escape paying child support or there's something about child support here. This person may have children with two different people. Then we've got this Queen of Swords energy here. <laughs> Blue is very significant. See, Libra, you're in a very receptive energy. You've got both this king and queen of swords here. Now, their backs are to each other. <laughs> they're both facing opposite directions. But look at how they're seated. And look at the position of their swords. I feel like this is your energy. Represented by both the King and Queen of Swords. This is your masculine and your feminine sides. <laughs> you are defending both your front and your back. Because you have your own back. But there's this Taurian or Earth energy in between. It's like someone is wanting to come back to you. Blue Jays could be significant. Blue Cardinals could also be significant. Mm, there's fairies around you, Libra. <laughs> fairies at your feet. So some of you have been working with fairy energies. You could be more attracted to flowers at this time. Things of a floral nature, maybe even floral scents. Rose water. Someone doesn't like the fact that you have changed your whole world, Libra. Some of you may have Leo in your fourth house. You're able to shape shift. <laughs> mm. 
And this is your time, your season. This is your season of expansion, of growth. Many people can't deal with the cycle of growth that they are watching you go through. What else is going on here, angels? What's going on with this Six of Pentacles? In reverse. So we have your hard work is paying off. Yeah, something about paying off. So we have new moon and Capricorn. So I don't know if this Taurus was working on paying off child support. Again, because it says your hard work is paying off. So I don't know if they've paid off child support for one child, but they're still paying child support for another. So one of their two children may have reached the age where they're no longer paying child support for them. One or two, this Taurian energy or this earth sign could be a Capricorn, this person has discovered that one of their two children is not their child. So they are no longer paying child support for that child because they've discovered that one of the two children is not their child. So it's like this is giving someone new energy to move forward. The fact that they're not paying child support anymore for one child or the fact that they've discovered that one of their children is not their child. Hmm. What else is going on in this? We have surrendered to the divine. <laughs> Libra, you have. This is why you get to be in this quote unquote high horse energy or what others perceive it to be of you. And it's because again you've opened yourself to being obedient to kind of going with the wind, going within. This full moon energy it says hold your vision. Fixed moon, yeah this <laughs> Whoever this is in this page of wands energy that is just screaming for attention. I'm, I'm literally hearing like a young child, like screaming for attention. And it's like you're not listening, Libra, because you're so focused on your journey, on your path, on growing these flowers, on tilling the seeds in your spiritual garden. behind this king of swords here look at the trees redwoods could be significant also oak i don't know if someone has redwood or oak trees outside of their house but those are very sturdy trees they also live for a very long time you <laughs> think about the redwood forest yeah those trees sequoias <laughs> hundreds of hundreds of years old and that's what's behind this King of Swords. Now, when you look at this Queen of Swords, she's on a plateau. <laughs> she's, she's up on a cliff somewhere, high up in the mountains. She's touching the clouds. You see her sword is touching the clouds. And her back is to the cliff. So you're comfortable on the ledge, Libra. And she's up there all by herself. You are of a crust, Libra. <laughs> you are of a different crust. Very comfortable, seated right there. Look, at, I just want y'all to look at 
the legs of the chair just right on the edge of the cliff. She's not worried. She's not concerned. What's down there? Who knows? But she's still comfortable. And she's on guard. Again, these are the masculine and feminine aspects of you. This world upside down simply signifies again that people are afraid of who you are, Libra. The fact that you have the ability to shake up their world simply by being you, simply by being seated on your throne. There are certain energies out there who seem to wish to continue to hold their vision, Libra, somehow knocking you off your spiritual high horse. And God said no. <laughs> Just so you know. For the people in the back, I'll say it again. God said no. We don't do that here. See, Libra, many of you have worked very hard to attain this throne this position, this seating, and it shall not, it cannot be taken from you. It says the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. So again, <laughs> we have this dual energy, right? Now here is represented represented as to feminine energies. But again, this is the dual or opposite sides of self. The answers you need are coming. Who's been bringing you messages, Libra? Your team. Oh, they've been coming. Telling you about all the shit. That's a lot of full moon energy we have. Full moon energy here with surrender to the divine and full moon and Gemini energy here with the answers you need are coming. So again, your team has been assisting you, <laughs> letting you know what's going on in the periphery. person has been making headway in their journeys and somehow getting back to you. Again, this person has acquired new legs. They've acquired a new energy. It's like this person has fully covered themselves in heart chakra energy and it's like, look, I'm coming with a little bit of money too. It's a start. <laughs> It's like this person is coming with a new start. You see, they've got that pentacle right out there in front of their chest. They've got their armor on because they know it may be a little bit of an uphill battle. And if you look, they, they've come uphill because this is kind of looking downhill. There's a valley down there. So this person, again, knows that this is going to be a bit of an uphill battle. It's not going to be easy. There may be a fight. You see the armor. This person is fully clothed or cloaked in heart chakra energy. There's a lot of green here. Don't let your past hold you back. I 
there's a lot of worldly opportunities here for you, Libra. Not only worldly, but spiritually, metaphysically. because you are coming into alignment. There's those fairies again. <laughs> You'll know if you see a fairy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Tinkerbell's real. <laughs> oh, this could be significant. Know if someone's name is Elvis or if this is a reference to Elvis Presley. But I'm um, I'm hearing uh, don't step on my blue suede shoes. <laughs> and it's funny because I'm looking at this queen of swords here, and she's got a very beautiful cape and it's blue because Libra you're speaking your truth it's so clear it's so eloquent it's so fluid and flowing and look at her feet her feet are almost floating in the air she's not stepping on her cape so Libra you're not mincing your words you're not stepping upon your own words you're letting your words flow quite freely Again, there's a certain eloquence to your words at this time. So peaceful. Meditation. Yeah, so a lot of you have been meditating. Protecting your peace at all costs, but in a very receptive energy. You are allowing things to be. It is what it is, right? Go ahead, Libra. One more please, thank you. that fire look at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius that's a lot of damn full moon energy is that one two three four yeah what happened during that full buck moon that we just had last month huh Libra <clears throat> this earth sign <laughs> this fire sign I was working on their family paying off child support maybe finding out that one child that they were paying child support for wasn't actually their child. There's a lot of switch up here. Labor, you focused on the bigger picture. This is why you continue to blossom that. That's why it doesn't matter what season of change it is. You continue to blossom within that season. You become a different animal. Let me just show you the card. Let me just show you the world again. Look at you. That's you in every different season. You continue to grow. You continue to gain a knowledge. Look at the tree man. That's the green tree man in the middle. Norse mythology could be significant. I don't know if someone's been looking at North, Norse, excuse me, mythology. Or some of you have Celtic roots. Celtic, Celtic, you can pronounce it either way. But yeah, Libra, this is you shifting through every season. And as every season comes about, you shape shift again. And there's a masculine energy. Oh, Libra. That is just shouting for your attention. Let's see what the vampires has to say. Forget about the things that go bump in the night. <laughs> oh, Libra, just return it to sender. It's almost laughable, isn't it? 
things that people do. <laughs> when will they learn? We don't know. <laughs> How many licks does it take to get to the middle of a Tootsie Roll pop? The world may never know. Angels. What's going on with this Six of Pentacles in reverse? Because I'm still curious what's going on with this situation. Well, we'll just keep going. You know how new decks can be sometimes? <clears throat> Transgression. Oh! Flaws, contradictions, mistake. Miss Taurus could be 41. Libra, you may be 41. Hmm. We have the lion fighting the unicorn. Yes, someone wanted to take you down. Look at what someone wanted to do. Just kill your whole unicorn. Just not only knock you off your horse, but fucking kill it too. God dang, this is a lot of energy here. So there's Taurus, there's Earth sign, there's Fire sign. Again, not only wanted to knock you off your high horse, Libra, but they wanted to kill it too. So this person, Libra, hmm. So these are two warring factions here. So what I'm getting is the, this is a warring bloodlines. This is a war between bloodlines. So this earth sign here that you separated yourself from because this person was childish, because you chose to remain on your throne, because you chose to travel your journey, this person separated themselves from you. This person is angry. I don't know if this person is angry that they found out that this child that they may have been paying child support for is not theirs. Flaws, contradictions, mistakes. So this was a mistake. Them paying child support all this time for one of these children. Again, warring factions and war between the families. So this may have gone to court. Hmm, wait, what? I don't know if there's a feminine here to a masculine. If this was the other side. So what I'm getting here is that whoever this masculine or feminine was with, their other person, the mother or the father of their child, the one that they were paying child support for, that was not their child. This feminine, strong feminine energy here, or masculine, was trying to prevent this person from moving back towards you, warring factions, warring bloodlines. So I don't know if she was merely trying to stop this person from coming towards you because you two are supposed to be a bloodline and not her and this person or him and this person. Are y'all following? Okay. We have resurrection. We have witness. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
interesting. That tried to cut me in the face. We have a mortal. You know, they don't like the fact that God dang Libra, you're a mortal. Oh, 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 oh. That was such a surge of energy and an, and an expansion in my heart space. It's like these people are literally being slapped in the face with the reality that you're immortal. They, as I said in the beginning, they cannot knock you off this quote unquote spiritual high horse that these people perceive you to be upon. because this deck is, is so wild. It's so enlightening. This. down shall we oh I love my new babies we have 44 we have resurrection we have reprise recovery comeback Ooh, look at the pumpkins in her hair Libra it's your season <sighs> Libra you are the reason for the season and in this season of change, we have the pumpkins popping up, the gourds. And you know what happens with gourds, with especially pumpkins, right, Libra? Pumpkins are grown and they're harvested. And then what normally happens with pumpkins? They're sliced and diced and they're cut up, right? It's your season, and so as such, it is a time of harvest and abundance for you. But this is also a time of others wanting to harvest from you, to slice and dice and cut you up. Look at all the black cats that are around you, Libra. One, two, three, four. Oop, there's one down here and it's not showing its face. That's down below your legs. A lot of feline energy around you, Libra. People like to say black cats are unlucky. <laughs> well, they are not. All depends on your perception. Someone's first, middle, or last initial could be A. Hmm. Pumpkin spice. Someone's burning pumpkin spice candles. Yeah, there is sunlight blowing in the wind for you, Libra. This shift, this change. Gentle is what I'm hearing. Yeah, your ancestors are all around just waiting. <laughs> And let me just tell you, these are not just your average alley cats, Libra. I, I don't know. Listen. Some of you have very deep Lyran ties. And your Lyran energy is on high right now. Starcy, are you listening? Oh, they've... <laughs> they've been to visit. We'll just leave that there, at Libra. Mm-hmm. You're... Ascended Masters, yeah, your Lyran Ascended Masters have been to visit Libra, and I'm just telling you, in the here and now, this very moment, Libra, this passage of moments, 
whenever you should be viewing this video because these videos are without time so whenever you should see them is when they may or may not resonate with you but Libra your Lyrans are around you and they're just waiting for someone to fuck it up they're just waiting for someone to try some shit they're, they're just waiting because mm -hmm. this hunter energy is over here but <laughs> let me just keep keep on down the line Get on down, get on down the road. Mm. I don't know if someone's watched The Wiz recently. But Libra, this is what you've been doing. You've just been getting on down the road. And I'm telling you, man, listen. Woman, lady, man, have I tried. I'm talking to you. You know how cats sit and wait? <laughs> how they lie and wait? Listen, y'all... Y'all spirit team. I'm I'm cracking up right now. Can I have a cat sit and wait and they'll they'll like pounce and you you'll think you'll know the moment they're about to jump and it's never the right time. Oh they're just waiting, Libra. They're just waiting. Because you surrender to the divine. You're on task, you're on point, you're on mission. You're doing what you were supposed to be doing at whatever level you may be at. Don't doubt yourself, Libra. Don't doubt yourself because your team doesn't. This is why they're heavily around you at this time because they're just waiting for someone to try some shit. We have witness. It says to know personal evidence to speak out. What, what, did, I t what did I say? This, this fire sign, okay, this Leo, this Aries, this Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Aries, or, <laughs> why did I say that twice? This Sagittarius energy is here. Again, or this Taurus, or Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus is here. This person is screaming to speak out to you. Hey, Libra, hey, 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 Libra. Got a choker on? Mm, a little bit choked up over you, huh? I don't really like the look in this person's eye. Could be this feminine energy attached to this masculine energy. I just have to call the energies how it is, but, you know, take it how it resonates. Reverse it if you need to. Yeah, because whoever this person is that wants to <laughs> come back your way, Libra, whoever they are attached to, has <laughs> evidence that this person wants to come back towards you. Personal evidence to speak out. So this person has been watching whoever this Page Wands is this immature energy that fucked up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what kind of? I don't even know if I should say that, and, and I'm not. <laughs> So, okay. That's a lot, but I'm, I'm going to say it anyway. So this person, whoever this is, Libra, this person that you distanced yourself from, this Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, because you decided to go with your own way to carry on with your journey. This person has been pleasuring themselves thinking about you. This person has been putting some type of floral something on their body parts as they commit this act. I don't know if whoever this person is with 
caught them doing this caught in the act <laughs> mm -hmm. so whoever they're with is so fired up that this person is fired up about you This is a whole Libra. We have a mortal that says the consuming family. Pressure of peers. <laughs> Libra, you could be covering your crown more at this time. You're keeping your thoughts to yourself. Hmm. There's Scorpio energy here. So, <laughs> there's the energy of Yeah, pressure of peers. People around you, Libra, these could be your family members. These could be friends, these could be co-workers. This could be your community. There's a lot of people that are around you that want to consume you, that want to drink of you that want to sip out of your cup. And that's because a lot of people see you as kingly, as queenly, as just. You are justice. And some of you are immortal. Some of you may have the life path number six. You choose to reign in your peace, to wear your crown, to not look down upon others, but <laughs> to also not involve yourselves with the wrong energies. We have redemption. It says absolution, forgiveness, penance. So again, this person wants your forgiveness. Look at this. Off the cuff or off the shoulder. It's like now this person wants to appear to be innocent. This who me? like this person has to pay up we have penance again paying so this person may be coming to you asking for redemption maybe because taking care of this child maybe that wasn't theirs was standing in the way of them coming towards you in some way so it's like this person is looking towards you but you may be in this masculine energy right now Libra very protective very defensive of your position your status your place and again, this person, they keep looking towards you. 
each and every way they're looking towards you here with this page of wands energy looking at the sun they're looking at you here with this redemption card looking towards the king of swords and so their partner is very angry now that there's been some type of discovery about a child not being theirs it's like again these warring factions so it's like this feminine here has seen you as some type of competition or as an enemy. So this may be who was throwing magic at you, Libra. Mm -hmm. Trying to kill your unicorn, trying to kill your magic. She kept doing something over and over and over again. Something to try to do with affecting you speaking your truth or trying to uh, make you shut up. So this uh, feminine was sending you some type of energy to close your mouth, to clamp down some type of clamping spell. I don't know what that is. We have free will. It says sovereignty, independence, free spirit. When I say at the beginning, they hate your free spirit. God damn it, Libra. You move around too freely. Who are you? Why do you get to move that way? How? It's because you were chosen. There's no how and why to it, really. But Libra, you you understand, you understand, you overstand. You have been gifted this. Do you see the Leo energy? <laughs> Some of you may have Leo again in the fourth or the fifth house. People out here. <laughs> Playing checkers and Libra, you're playing chess. Look what's behind you. You're you're almost bathed in checkerboards. Look at the crown upon your head. <laughs> Look at how you're staring at it. You know who you are. And you will fiercely protect that crown. Your kingdom. <laughs> You're not afraid of being on the ledge. It's not a ledge of despair. See somebody else up there in the air, Libra, hanging on the edge of that chair in the air, Libra. They'll be shaking in their fucking boots. Libra, you don't even have your feet on the ground. <laughs> You've got your ass planted in that throne, balanced on your booty, with your feet up. Because we don't want to get the cape dirty. No, no, we will let that cape of words, of fluid flowetry, flow freely. And we shall not dirty it. We shall not stomp upon it. Oh, Libra, you're so strong. <laughs> Even the lion's got a crown on. You're in your power, Libra, and people cannot take that from you. Oh, it hurts them so much that they can't knock you off your throne no matter which way they come. You can give them your masculine side, you can give them your feminine side, but you're balanced. And so you will stay seated upon your throne. You know why? Because God said, God said so. That's what they also don't like. Oh, oh, Libra, it hurts them so much that God said so. This hunter, the aggressor, the tracker, the provider. Oh, Libra. Look at her. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So she attracts people with her looks, hook, line, and sinker, this feminine energy that's been hunting you. But you just keep changing, Libra, as the seasons change, as the leaves change. You just keep changing.
shape-shifting. You know, all that devilish energy will only get you so far. <laughs> And as much as she may want to see, she just can't see enough. She can't fly as high as you. She can't reach your height. She can't reach your level. Now, she does have wings in this depiction, in this card. But they don't allow her to fly their war for show. Yeah, aggressor, very angry, very angry at you, Libra, because this Taurus, this fire sign, the Sagittarius, wants to come back your way. <laughs> she may have tried to trap this person with a child. Again, someone here found out that a child wasn't theirs. They may have been paying child support for this person, for this child, to this person. It's like the charade is up. Now this person is on the move to, you know, come back to get their king or their queen, i.e. you, Libra. Let's see what the ancestors have to say. We'll get you guys out of here. Libras, thank you so much for your time, your energy, your presence. I appreciate each and every single one of you, whether you are a Libra or not. What say you, ancestors? <laughs> Divine sisterhood, Libra. Mm -mm, so protected. Look at this. Community of the spiritual sisters and brothers of the light. What did I tell you? Libra. Starseed. I'm talking to you. You know. You know who. Your team that has visited you. As they do. Yeah, I got your back, Libra. They're doing all kinds of high fives. Like, I can't wait till somebody just listen. You know how <laughs> sometimes when people get pumped up for a fight, especially if their friends are around, they'll start slapping high fives and like getting each other pumped up. Like, yeah, we finna whoop his ass. Like, yeah, we finna do this. This is your team right now. I'm telling y'all, y'all's team right now is hilarious. They are just waiting for someone to step up. You may hear tapping, Libra. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, because she's... Mm -hmm. She doesn't know who you are, Libra. This feminine energy. She does not know. Or masculine. Again, take it how it resonates. You were the golden child. This is you in the middle, Libra. This is your ancestors at the bottom. Just like, oh, we just, mm, just waiting. Because, <sighs> Libra, <laughs> you are the resurrection of ancient energy. Your ancestors celebrate you. You are the golden child again. You are the chain breaker. You have incarnated into this time for a very important reason. And for each of you, of course, that reason is going to be different. Just like the reasons for your change in each season. But you keep changing, Libra. You keep shape-shifting and your ancestors are in charge of being that supernatural support system to guide you in this cycle through this cycle through this season of resurrection to come into this season of abundance of creation Gaining new levels of wisdom, your pearls of wisdom in this season. <laughs> and nobody, Libra, not near a bumper dumper 
in this realm or others. <laughs> it's going to be allowed to take that from you. It shall not be taken. What else, ancestors? We have Portal of Light. It says she glides on wings through time and space. <laughs> Libra, they, they can't stop you. <laughs> what did I just say? They're, this is not for, these people don't have the authority. They do not have the power nor the knowledge to unseat you from your throne. They cannot dethrone you. They can't take you out of your own energy. They can't take you off your path, your journey, what it is you were destined to do now that you have accepted your purpose. Now that you wear that crown and you wear it justly because you are justice and you have accepted your mission. Well, now there's protection around you. Now your team's like, oh, no, 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 no. See, our child has stepped through the portal. Our child has gone through many levels of ascension. You've gone through a lot of shit, but you've, you've also accepted a lot of blessings, okay? You've received a lot of abundance. You see this queen, you're in this, this energy of receiving, of reception, of allowance. It is what it is. Which is why you keep passing through these portals and these people want to keep what, Libra? Coming through these doorways behind you. And as I told you when I explained in the method behind the magic, why this stuff is back here. I said, you've gone through a portal, this door of faith that you've opened up, Libra. You've opened up to your faith. And it's blind faith, such as this cliff that this queen of swords sits upon. She sits upon the cliff of faith. Libra, you've walked through this door and your ancestors sit here. Who? Who? Who goes there? Yeah, they're not going to let anyone come through this door behind you, Libra. If they haven't done the work, if they're not on the team, if they're not part of the same lineage or one that can spiritually conjoin with yours, it cannot, will not be allowed. So these people, you know, they got it twisted. It's okay, though, because you're going to keep doing what it is that you do. See, you have wings. She glides on wings through time and space. What if I say her wings are too small? <laughs> How they say was the saying, uh, your arms are too small to box with God. Her wings are too small to fly, to ascend to your heights. Again, these are just wings for show. This is more like... A cheap Halloween costume. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some of the little ass devilish ways don't compare to your glow, to your light, to your divinity. When we're over here playing dress up with the cheap Halloween costumes and you're over here really with the magic. <laughs> There's, you see? Okay, we're going to leave that there. Anyways, what else? And just ancestors. We have the Lunar Queen, she of the Celestial Crescent. And it's funny because just before this, this reading, I looked outside to check on Luna. So she called me. So I said, let me just go, let me just go look at Luna real quick. And I did. And I just, you know. Quick little boost. Thank you, Luna. Look at the full moon. Because there, there's so much full moon around you, Libra. Again, because you have surrendered, I can't say it enough, because you have become obedient to source, to your journey, to your path, to your destiny. You've opened up to it. You've allowed it. You've received it. And <laughs> now nobody can fuck with it. Because you're immortal. They can't kill your unicorn. They can't kill your magic. They can't kill you. 
They can't kill your path. They can't stop your path. They can't stop your change, your glow up, your shine, your ascension. None of that. None of that. We don't do that here. Again, somebody had it twisted. Oh, Libra, you're so beautiful. You're so sexy. Yes, you ma'am. Yes, you sir. Yes, you lady. Yes, you man. High five tribe. I'm definitely talking to you. Whether you are reigning in your feminine or your masculine energy, whichever is at the forefront at this time, or whether you comfortably sit in the middle or you flip-flop in between, as people normally do. However you're moving right now, Libra, is the correct energy for you. You are maintaining your position, and you're defending it. Very well, defending your peace at all costs, by any means necessary, going through this process of resurrection, being reborn again and again and again and again and again. Through each season, you go through this process of metamorphosis. You shift, you change, you shape shift. These people trying to cut off your season of abundance. Yeah, no, they're just going to shake up their own world. And whoever this chick is, <laughs> I guess it's a chick. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like she's going to be able to stop this fire sign or this Taurus or this earth sign. Whoever this is that's trying to come back to you again, Libra, because they've discovered that a child is not there. We have not of Isis. It says energetic stabilization with the buckle of the beloved. So this person feels like they have a soul tied to you. This Taurus Libra. may have also lost a child that's for someone but this person feels like they have a soul tied to you Libra this person feels an energetic pull towards you I feel like this person finding out about this child that's not theirs or this person not having to pay child support for a child anymore, it's kind of there's been some type of activation within this person and it has shifted them to where it's kind of like they see that they have a soul tie or a soul connection to you. And it's like this person is trying to buckle down and go in the right direction now. And that's towards you, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine. Take it how it resonates. Give more cards, please, angels. We have magic and ritual. <laughs> Crafting sacred practice. Mm hmm told you this this feminine over here to this masculine or this masculine to this feminine you know your story Libra was doing magic to try to I guess keep this person under the illusion that this child was theirs or to keep this person in this commitment tied to them and these two children. But again, there's been a release. It's like this person may have even broken the spell that this person, this female, this feminine put on them. So she may have been doing this for a number of years. Hmm. It could, could have been five to seven years. But it's like this person is freeing themselves. They've freed themselves from free bird. 
Isn't there a song called Free Bird? There is. faces of you. What did I say? You <laughs> just, you shape shift. Look at the many spiritual faces of you. Just one more time. Because you shape shift. You become the green man in each season. This hunter just cannot stand the fact that they can't catch up to you. <laughs> and their wings are too little to <laughs> fly up to you. They just can't be as fly as you. They can't be of the light like you. Again, they've got on this cheap Halloween costume. <laughs> Those aren't even real wings. Quick land. You jump off this cliff uh, if you want to. I know if Libra lean back in his chair and dip off this cliff, you'll win gracefully. This one here, however, mm -hmm. this one would hit the ground. See, the ability to be in this energy, have this power, have this spiritual ranking disposition, Libra, it's because you've gone through many different levels of ascension, not only in this lifetime, but in past lifetimes. You had to get to this level. You had to get here. Again, you had to do a lot of work, not only just in this lifetime, but in previous lifetimes. <laughs> not only in this dimension, but in others. It gets deep, yeah. But your ancestors knew who you were going to be to them before you incarnated anywhere. Your soul is so old, it's, it's not from here. And I don't mean this planet, it's not from this particular universe. And for those that I'm speaking to, I know that you've been shown. Again, you've acquired mastery and certain skills, certain levels, which is why you have leveled up to where you are. And as such, no such energies and or entities can take that from you. See, so you're a diamond hidden in the rough, Libra. A lot of people don't know who you are spiritually, metaphysically. They look at you with their human eyes and they think that they're viewing another human. <laughs> Some of you, that's just not the case. And so when they come against you and they do these rituals against you and or people connected to you, you know, they fall to their knees. Because this fakery, <laughs> these aggressions, people being aggressive, people faulting you for things that are not your fault, people claiming victimhood and pointing fingers, throwing stones at glass houses. <laughs> Yea, they do not know who lives in that house. Okay? We have 
spirit of vices, triumph of the goddess. So Libra, don't worry about this, whoever this feminine is. She could be a Capricorn, she could be a Sagittarius, she could be an Aquarius. This partner of this fire sign or this Taurus or Capricorn or Virgo. But your ancestors have definitely stepped in. Your Lyrans have stepped in. And Isis is simply just not going to have that shit. <laughs> <laughs> she's looking oh boy she is looking this chick's way she's got weapons in her hand just look oh goodness mother Isis said go ahead bitch try it <laughs> I'm not <laughs> oh the team is on one tonight Libras you know what to do don't you Continue to utilize your own intuition and discernment to make the very best decisions for your highest good. And I know that you will, because you know. You know, Libras. You know. High Vibe Tribe, I see you. Please do, Libras. Please do. Continue to be beautiful, you. Yes, you ma'am, you sir, you lady, you man. I'm definitely talking to all of you. Again, thank you so much for stopping by, for spending time, for your presence, your energies, Libras. I love you. Anything and everything you may want or need to know that is pertinent to this video is listed down below in the description box. Take a look-see if you should like. Libras. Have an amazing rest of your AM. United we stand, together we rise. Holla at your girl. Peace.